Facebook versus Twitter, we're looking at conversion rates with our SaaS application. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So um, we have obviously Facebook and Twitter, and we use Google Analytics as well. So do you want to maybe talk a little bit about what Google Analytics does? Because yeah. I know it measures a whole bunch of stats and things. Correct. So we have a little bit of JavaScript that sits on our website. So when visitors come to the website, it will say things like um, how much traffic is bounced. Bounced. So what's a bounce? So bounce means that you've gone to the website and you've bounced off to another website. Right, so like you've gone to the website and then you've been like, oh no, I'm not interested and then just yeah. left. Yep. Right. And so you want to get that bounce percentage down as low yes. as possible. so we don't want bouncing. No, cool. no bouncing. We just want to carry on. Yep. yep, sweet, got it. And so by looking at our stats, we can see who's come from what social network. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. And what we've discovered is that the people coming from Twitter tend to sign up for trials more than the people that come from Facebook. Oh, right. And what do you think that that's based on? Like how, um, you know, like I know for a fact that we have more followers on Twitter than we do on Facebook. Do you think Correct. that could be one of the reasons why? Or Well, it could, no, nah, but the thing is we're getting more traffic from Facebook actually going to the website. Right. But the traffic from Twitter seem more serious and yeah, seem like they're more interested in signing up. That's so interesting. That's so cool that you can actually measure that as well. Yeah, and it, it just looks like, yeah, Facebook, people are scrolling through, click onto it, mm -hmm. not, I don't know, whether they're feeling the vibe, but yeah. they want to get back to their Facebook. Yeah, that's it, because you do kind of, kind of get caught up in that scroll therapy through Facebook, and you have a look, and you're like, nah, go back. Yeah. Maybe Twitter is just like more pinpointing people who actually are interested in applications and things like that. They're more, less scrolly. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know whether it's also because of the time, the amount that we post. Uh, true, we do thing. tweet a lot more than we do yeah. on Facebook. So that's probably right, we're putting it out there a little bit more. So, yeah. It's funny though, because we are getting less people coming to the site, but yeah. more quality people. So yeah, Google Analytics is really good for that kind of stuff. Eh? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, so our comparison for our particular SaaS application, we've found that Twitter is a better platform yeah. than Facebook, um, and it could be just to do with the algorithm, and hopefully mm. it'll change over time, but at the moment, Twitter's the one. Yeah, Twitter's the one. So there you go, guys. Um, Twitter is working for us better than Facebook. At this stage, we're getting people to our site and um, signing up rather than bouncing, as we talked about. Um, Google Analytics is a really good tool to use to measure that as well. Yeah. Um, so it also shows Instagram and yeah, LinkedIn, LinkedIn yeah. as well. So you can yeah. sort of see the comparison of bounce rate based on the different social medias. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, cool. Check it out. Yeah, let us know how you're going with your SaaS application. Yeah, Are you having more success with Twitter or Facebook? Thanks. See ya. See ya. See ya.